What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today I'm going to give you my review for Venom starring Tom Hardy. Uh, it will be a non-spoiler review so don't worry about that, I'll be very vague. Uh, before we get started, I gotta show you this, I gotta show you this. I got this at Disneyland yesterday, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Oh yes, yes, is this not awesome? Gonna be my new profile pic. That good? That good? Anyway, uh, that's what I want to do right now. But anyway, um, all right, so <sighs> Venom. I love Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy is one of my favorite actors. Uh, by far one of my favorite actors. Probably one of my three or four favorite actors. Um, Venom was boring. It was just boring. I didn't hate it, like, to the point where I was angry, but it just was boring. Um... I cared about nothing in the movie outside of Eddie Brock, and when Tom Hardy uh, is there, it's it's watchable. It's still not great. I mean, Tom Hardy's definitely the best part of the movie, but it's still just boring. Um, I care about nothing. I just and the CG the CG was so bad at times. Not all the time, but there were some scenes where that CG was so bad and I'm like, "Wow, how did this clear how did this clear post? I, it's so bad at times." Um the acting across the board is really cheesy. Even Tom Hardy at times, who's one of my favorite actors, had some really cheesy moments. There were parts where the audience was laughing, where they shouldn't be laughing. It felt like a sci-fi TV movie at times. It's just not good. It's a, it's a Venom movie without Spider-Man. Like, how the hell do you even pull this off? And I said this during my live stream. Where are the people that are willing to speak up when dumb ideas are presented? Where was the person in the boardroom when they pitched this idea of a Venom movie without Spider-Man? Where was the one guy to say, guys, that's a terrible idea? Apparently that person didn't exist. Um, this was a bad idea. It's not a good movie. It will probably not make a lot of money. And I, j I feel bad for Tom Hardy, ultimately, because... I love Tom Hardy, and he did the best he could, but it's just not a good movie. It's very boring. Uh, there's no reason to care about anything that's going on in the movie. There's no reason to care about the villain. There's no reason to care about uh, Tom Hardy and his relationship. There's no reason to care about any of these things. I just, it's really disappointing. I wanted to like it. I remember seeing the first trailer, and I'm like, okay, that looks okay. That looks okay. Uh, the second trailer is where I started seeing the cringe, and that's exactly what we got. There's just a lot of cringe into it. And if it, it, again, if you take Tom Hardy out of this movie, I can't even imagine how bad this movie would be without Tom Hardy. Like, he's the saving grace. He's the only thing that's watchable. Um, and he's on the, on screen, obviously, the majority of the time, so, I mean, that's good. But, yeah, it's just... I saw it in an awesome IMAX theater here uh, in, it was, I was in Irvine, uh, awesome theater. I just, unfortunately, I, I wish it would have been a better movie, but uh, overall, I'm going to give Venom a four and a half out of ten. Four and a half out of ten for Venom. It's not a good movie. It's very boring. There's no emotional attachment within the story, within any of the characters, really. I mean, there are times where you can relate to Eddie Brock because Tom Hardy does such a good job in certain aspects of the movie. But overall, it just doesn't give you enough reason to care about anything. And when you don't have Spider-Man in a Venom movie, it just feels weird. And it should never have happened. Uh, also... Again, I'm not a really, I'm not a big gore person, but it's a Venom movie. You should have made it rated R. It just felt really weird. The whole thing did not work for me. So I would love to know your thoughts. Those are mine. Uh, if you're on the fence with this movie, I would recommend not going to see it. But if you have already determined that you want to see it regardless, then by all means, go see it. And if you think I'm wrong, I respect that. It just didn't work for me, and I wanted it to. So other than that, you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.